And um, the, I mean, humor is actually a loose translation also, three humors. And these are, are called um, bile, phlegm, and wind disturbances. These are also actually loose translations, by the way. Uh, tipa, pekin, and lung. So, um, so um, excessive desire, excessive anger, excessive uh, you know uh, confusion, and just uh, you know, just um, uh, yeah, the, um, that state of uh, fogginess of mind. These three then relate to those kinds of um, uh, symptoms, uh, you know, uh, symptoms caused by three main, uh, main um, disturbances that you can experience, um, uh, caused by phlegm, bile, and wind disturbances. Uh, tipa, pekin, and lung, they're called. Tipa is actually um, in Sanskrit, I think it's called Pitta. And um, uh, Pekin is uh, Kata. And uh, Lung is uh, called um, Vayu. But it's also Prana. So um, uh, there, there's some, uh, you know, there's um, in Tibetan, we don't make distinction between. Uh, Prana and uh, Vayu, like, uh, we call both Lung. But Prana is something that you deal with um, when you're developing your health. Vayu is more general term, you see. Disturbances in the bo body then um, are related to your own mental states. That's what Buddhism teaches. You know. Um, because um, uh, it relates to whether the body has got too much heat or it's too cold, you know, um, uh, whether there's um, um, one has mobility or one has a uh, problem uh, moving one's arms around. Uh, whether somebody has got breathing problems or not, uh, does somebody has, uh, have night sweats? Um, is somebody always hungry or has no appetite? Um, why does somebody um, eat all the time and doesn't gain weight, even if he wants to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Um, and another one who wants to lose weight and is dieting and can't do it. Um, why does these things happen? The answers to all of these things, I mean, we'll talk about a bit of that uh, tomorrow. But um, um, so a so lot of it, not all, but a lot of it has to do with um, one's um, mental state, you see. If one's mental state um, in such a way um, that um, <clears throat> that would allow one's health to be maintained, um, then um, it will work. So at the end of the day, um, I suppose the main thing is to have the sense of uh, um, you know, um, will to live, to have the will to live, where one's m uh, mind is not um, um, interfered too much by greed, by excessive, you know, uh, in terms of like excess, in terms of like wanting things, um, uh, wanting possessions, wanting love, wanting, whatever it is that you want, or hating uh, such and such person, or, uh, 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 you know, or even uh, 
whole group of people or whatever, I mean, things like that um, would impact on one's will to live. Because the will to live is related to one's quality of life. And it's very difficult to have a quality of life when one's life is completely um, uh, put into a um, um, state of uh, chaos, either because one wants something so much or one hates something so much, you know, disgusted, revolted, uh, put off, um, whatever, you know. So, um, so every time when the, the object of your uh, hate or whatever uh, shows up, you, just, you can't handle it. You're almost going to a catatonic state. When you're being abusive, verbally abusive, you're not that uh, angry. So when this uh, uh, kind of behavior is repeated over and over, over and over, um, it starts to impact on your quality of life. And th there's no joy, there's no uh, real pleasure, there's no real happiness. So the will to live is diminished. And when the will to live is diminished, then of course you become more vulnerable to illnesses and all kinds of bad things. You know, um, this is true because when your mind becomes weaker, your body becomes weaker. You know, your, uh, uh, your mind cannot um, fight off external um, influences, bad things coming at you. And even when, well, uh, of course, when bad things are coming at you, you've got no defenses, you can't cope. But even when bad things are not happening, you think bad things are happening. Um, you become weak, you see, seriously. Uh, so, so your health then diminishes because you're thinking like that. That's the truth. So, so when you think like that, then the body's on uh, immune system, uh, uh, you know, is unable to fight diseases because you, your body then also becomes uh, weak because body follows your mind. This is true. So, so when you, uh, when we like that, you know, when we. Uh, when we want some, something so much also, like we want something so much, we desire it so much, and we don't get it, then we feel such a, such a miserable loser. Oh, I'm the, I'm the most despicable person on the planet. Uh, you, know, um, I, you know, I'm so bad. I should be able to get that job. I, I should be able to do this and that, and I can't, and what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? You don't need other people to punch you up. You do it yourself, you know, both internally and externally. So then you become weak. Then you become vulnerable to uh, diseases and illnesses and things like that because you don't have the will to live, you know, you know, will to live. And if you have that, that you know, because based on your strength, uh, then uh, because you're feeling strong in your mind, in other words, because you're feeling strong in your mind, you will quite feel quite strong in your own body also. Even your body posture and things will change. You know, you'll ca carry yourself in a particular way, not uh, sort of... Um, in a um, so, you know sort of a pretentious fashion, but like you know you feel good. You you know this is true, but if your mind is not feeling like that, then you can try to be like that, and still you feel weak. Because uh, and when you're like that, this is just a pretense. You uh, because you're feeling weak, you want to show off like. No, I'm not weak. Uh, it's like a wounded animal pretending 
and you know um, this this creature is ferocious to um, some other animal who is going to uh, attack it or whatever. You know, I mean, this is an unfortunate example, but it sort of becomes like that. Um, I hope I'm making sense, um, but um, really, um, it's true. So, um, so the um, uh, so the psychological, the psychological state um, that we're in at any given moment. I say psychological state um, because if we're in a particular psychological state, then we will develop certain psychological disposition. The uh, dispositions will follow the states that we're in. Um, and our dispositions then, of course, uh, uh, um, <clears throat> are directly related to our personality, character, and so forth. So, if we um, watch ourselves, and if we see what sort of state of mind we're in, then we will develop the kind of dispositions that we need to feel that strength, to have that uh, will to live. It is something that we have, in other words, it's something that we have to teach ourselves all the time. It, it's a process. We, it, it's, it's not like we're healthy and we're not healthy, but we are become healthy or healthy, yeah, from day to day. And that's the thing. It's not a, a one-off thing. You know, um, you, it's not like a pen, getting a penicillin injection. It's not like that um, with life and with the true situation of illness and health. There's no... Uh, um, penicillin injection, and there's no panacea. It is um, health is something that we have to work on. It's not something that we get and then say, well, now I'm healthy. No matter how healthy you are, you still have to fight illnesses. This is the truth. And the ill person with ill health also should not then lose heart and say, oh, I'm an ill person. Because, you see, that is the mental state that person is in. And that person then develops that habit, uh, that particular way of thinking, according to Buddhism, actually, you know, we're all ill. Uh, that's the other thing, really. We're all ill uh, to begin with anyway. Um, our disease has got degrees, just like um, our health. So, um, in any case, the person will, with ill health should also not be then uh, you know, thinking, I'm diseased, I'm no good, uh, I'll never ever be healthy again. So that's how we um, work with health and ill health. Health and disease, if you like. Uh, um, that is the way. Any other way is the unhealthy uh, approach to take. Because 